This week's guests are Blue October. Welcome Blue October! Blue October. Sometimes it feels just like I'm falling. Because they kept telling us, you're going to be superstars. Don't tell somebody that. Justin was always different. He had a different light. They always knew my head and heart was different. My head was dark. And my heart was much, much bigger. I always found myself feeling like there's a cloud over my head all the time. And the only way that I could ever feel good about it was to get on a microphone and sing. I just remember hearing and going, wow, this is amazing. This guy's on a whole nother level. You'd have people come up tears in their eyes. We're asking, how does he know the things that I'm feeling that I won't tell anybody? I remember getting a call from Doug Morrison. He said, better hold on, boy. If any of this stuff is true about what these songs are about, you better hold on. From Houston, Texas, Blue October. Sold 500,000 copies, sold a million copies, sold 1.5 million copies. It was ridiculously awesome. And then, you know, that all fell apart. Somewhere along the lines, being away from home, he started getting into some deep stuff. I went nuts. Clonopin, acid, Vicodin, oxys, heroin. Come on, just stop. I gave him an ultimatum that you have a choice. You can choose drugs or you can choose your family. Don't you think it's time to unlock the door? And we're in a church, we're in the house, of the house of music. We all want to be inspired, we want to be touched, we want to love. And music does that, doesn't it? It's a vessel for me to stay on this earth. So I raise my hand in praise. Pray for the words I wish I could erase. Blue October is not just a band. It's everybody. It's a lot bigger than just five people. We get to be fathers, we get to be husbands. We get to be artists. And the great thing about it is, there's always hope. Never, never take away the 